to the next dimension. Hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes all the way from Down Under and today I'm going to be doing a review on Jinx, a new ADC in League of Legends. Now, this review is going to be less based about me just reading off stats. You can just go on the League of Legends Wikipedia and read them up, but rather the strategies that go around them and how powerful this character is in my opinion. Now, her range is 525, which is quite good for an ADC. Obviously, it isn't as good as characters such as Caitlyn and Tristana at max level, but saying that she does have good trading potential in the early game and can definitely, with the use of her abilities, can go and get some good damage down in a considerably short amount of time. However, this dueling potential is kind of countered in a way due to the fact that she is a glass cannon. She has very, very low health, but has a lot of damage behind her, which means really good positioning is needed in order to go and deal that said damage and continue on to win a team fight or just a one-on-one -on -one skirmish. It really depends on how well you can play her and how well you can get her abilities down in the middle of a team fight or just on top of a single enemy you're engaging. Now her passive is get excited and whenever she goes and destroys a tower or injures an enemy, gets an assist or kills an enemy, she gets a speed buff of 175% which decays over a short amount of time. This means she is one of the best split pushing ADCs in the game. One really bad thing about ADCs when I want to split push is that they don't have an escape. Jinx has one. She can go and really wipe down a turret in a very short amount of time and just peace out and then nothing can catch her, she's that fast. This is also good in team fights per se, let's say you're gonna go and take out one enemy and the rest of the team is just fleeing. You can go and catch up them, take out another one and just go and get your passive again, take out, continually taking out enemies by catching up to them with this passive, it's really 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 strong. Now her Q is called Switcheroo and it switches between a minigun pow pow and a rocket la rocket launcher fish bones. Now her minigun goes and gives her stacks which goes and increases her attack speed. This means you don't need to buy attack speed on Jinx if you're mainly focusing on using the minigun up until let's say mid game. Early game you don't need to go and buy that zeal. You can go straight to let's say a Bud Blood Furser and a Last Whisper and really dominate in terms of damage. In conjunction with her passive get excited, this means Jinx is a fantastic split pusher. She can go up to a target at fairly, you know, early to mid game and absolutely destroy it within 10 seconds. Her objective clear is amazing and this is fantastic in, in the cases of you're going to get ganked. Finish off the tower instead of leaving it, you get that passive, you can run away and boom, you are safe. Very, very powerful indeed. However, her rocket launcher fishbones only use that attack speed buff on the first attack. It doesn't use it on the consecutive ones. However, you can still retain that buff by swapping back to your minigun. Such so you can go boom, boom, boom with your minigun, get a couple of attacks going, get a couple of your know, stacks going on your minigun, swap over to your rocket launcher, get that really quick attack, swap back over to your minigun and continue doing damage. This combo is really powerful and it's only using your Q. Now her rocket launch also does AOE damage and this can also crit. So in the middle of a team fight, you may be targeting one person, but everybody in that circle inside that radius is also getting that same damage. And if that crits, you're going to be destroying enemy teams in such a quick, such a short amount of time that it's a, such a valuable tool and definitely going to be really, really abused in high level competitive play. Initiate with let's say an Orion ult, get everybody in together and just use that rocket launcher to deal the same damage to everybody in that arc. You know, it's a really good situation for your team. You're going to destroy enemies. 
Now, Jinx's W is Zuck, which sends out a skill shot with 1,500 range, which goes and slows the enemy for a short amount of time and does physical damage. Now, this is an incredibly powerful tool for trading in the early game. Late game, it's much better to go and use your auto attacks in order to do damage, but the slow is still viable. It's viable throughout the whole game. You can get a whole team just jump onto a single target with that slow, which is up to, I believe, 70% when it's fully leveled up. In early game, the damage is really, really good and the slow is still quite viable in such you can go catch up, do a lot of damage, half H, get an enemy to half HP and then you can just dominate all the way because regen is, you know, not that good at the very start. Now her E is Flame Chompers, which goes and sets down three chompers, which when activated by an enemy going over them, goes in and mobilizes them for a couple of seconds. The chompers also explode and do magic damage. This can really be used in two, two different ways. You can use it as an engage and a disengage. In terms of a disengage, you can go and just put it on the ground while you're running because it has no cast time and the enemies will just run over it. You can go and make quite big of a gap. You can use it as an engage also and you can put it behind the enemies. They'll run into it. You've got a couple seconds to do some damage. However, you have to be you know, a bit noteworthy of the fact that the flame trumpers also have an activation time. It's quite small, but you know, in the middle of a fight, if you put it on an enemy, it won't activate and such that is significant. Her ultimate is Super Mega Death Rocket, and it is a global ultimate, kind of similar to ultimates of Ash per se. Not so much Ezreal, because Ezreal goes through targets. This will detonate on the first enemy here. You know, very similar to Ash, but has very different types of characteristics. Now, this ability is weird in terms of the first second it is activated, it will have, you know, a kind of a minimum damage. But after that second, if it goes longer, it will go and increase its speed and such do more damage when it's hit by an enemy. Now, this is really good in terms if you're going down a straight line. Let's say straight down mid, you can go and hit that, and of course, you're going to do more damage. That's always cool. But if you're trying to go and compensate for a target, it's traveling at a different velocity at a certain time. So such, it's going to be harder to hit than, let's say, an Ezreal or Ash ult, which stays at the same velocity throughout the whole time. Though if you can get past that little inconvenience of being a different speed, then you can definitely go and use it, use this as an execute due to the fact of it doing more damage depending on the miss enemy's missing health. So if you have a person on, you know, let's say 400 HP, you launch this at them and then boom, they're going to die. This is a really good ability for executing enemies. Definitely not going to be used as an initiate. Overall, I have to say, Jinx is an exceptional ADC, and I definitely suggest all of you guys to buy it. The fact is that she can dominate in early game and just snowball so hard into the lane. It's absolutely amazing, and this means she can really, really do a ton of damage in a short amount of time. And she can go and split push, and she can just go and contribute to team fights so well. I, I see barely any faults. The only fault is if you don't get that tower, if you don't hit your flame chompers right, you've got no disengage, and that means you're going to die, definitely.